Facebook shut us down, we'll just say, hey, save, hey, Facebook. Morning. Don't shut us down. That's what we'll say. That's exactly what we'll say. My head looks huge, so I'm too close. Okay. Morning. Good morning. Are you right? Yeah, I think I'm okay. My head didn't get bigger overnight anyway, I don't right, think. Okay. Uh, weather today, guys. Uh, hey, oh my God, I just did that. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Oh my God. Touch your face. The, hey. the guys who do t- the guys who talk hey, to their cameras hey all are always touching their face while they're talking. They are though. I bet you now you go through your Instagram or your Snapchat and you have some friend who does this. Hey guys, uh, just update you. Um, didn't win the lotto. Um, yeah. Anyway, weather. Uh, there's going to be a few showers today in places. It's going to be a bit grey as well, and it looks like the Rose of Tralee lads is going to be a wet one because uh, the weekend looks as if it's going to be quite wet as well. We'll see some um, sunny spells and breaks in places. Uh, it's still going to be very warm and mild, actually. I think tomorrow could be 21 in places, but uh, yeah, it's still overcast, grey and wet today. All right, just passing on the message. Um, some of the trends, it's a really busy one, actually. There's a lot, a lot of chatter about everything and anything online. Obviously, Aretha Franklin is uh, the number one trend after the Queen of Soul passed away, sadly, at her home in Detroit yesterday at the age of 76. Of course, we'll play Aretha on the show this morning and let us know what song you'd like to hear. Uh, Fox News paid tribute to her, by the way. They did an 11-minute video segment that began with a photograph of Patti LaBelle. Well done, Fox News. Yeah. Like, and what's even frustrating about that is that there are so many people working behind the scenes in an organisation like that yeah. and no one said, oh, actually, hang on, that's yeah. not Aretha Franklin. And Aretha Franklin very, was very distinctive looking. Oh, sure, I don't know how they did that. But anyway, it's... we're definitely paying tribute to her on the show later this morning. Um, RTE have revealed their new season and their autumn schedule has been revealed. Uh, Madonna at 60, she shared a photograph of herself partying in Marrakesh yesterday, the Queen of Pop, uh, turned 60 with, um, she looks, she look, do you see the photos? No. Of her Marrakesh. Oh, I yeah. saw the selfie she put up. Yeah, yeah, yeah but she that looks was well. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She looks. She looks a bit mad in the photo. I'm <laughs> heard, but she looks. She's dressed looks in all the, the gear, isn't yeah, she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, traditional the gear, headdress, and, and all that crap. And um, I genuinely don't like reality TV, and I don't really get it. And I didn't watch Love Island, and I don't really watch any of it anymore. I used to years ago, uh, but when I saw the lineup for Celebrity Big Brother this year, I thought, Yeah, I'm gonna watch this. I had, it's mental. Uh, I had to take a shower before I went to bed last night because I felt dirty. <laughs> Dirty. Watched uh, I watched it. about the first 50 minutes. I, uh, Kirstie Alley went in. Kirstie Alley's in it. Kirstie Alley. Uh, That's ro- kind of why I want to watch it. She's bonkers. Yeah, like. she'll she'll be good crack now. Yeah. I think she'll be very much, she'll be the alpha male. And I don't yeah. mean that. And I just mean, I think she'll be the dominant one. Yeah. Uh, Ryan Thomas from Corrie, he went into it last night. Yeah, she'll be the alpha female. Alpha female. That's the, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. See, she's, brain she's cells, brilliant. I'm pretty sure anyway, yeah. And uh, uh, the the third guy I saw, and that's when I switched it off, was Jermaine Pennant, the uh, retired soccer player now. So, so I didn't know Jermaine it. Pennant was going to be in um, Celebrity Big Brother, and I couldn't understand why for the past two weeks I keep reading bits about him in the tabloids. And he's right. been talking... I think he's got an autobiographer, a biography, and he's been talking about um, Cheryl a lot, Cheryl Cole. Oh, right. Yeah, he seems to know all was about her. A, was there a thing there? Was there? I don't know, but he's friends with Ashley, maybe, or I don't oh, know. Oh, okay, he's maybe, actually. blabbing. He sounds like the biggest blabbermouth Egypt. So, so that, that's Pennant why someone like Channel 5 and TV3 are like, yes, yeah, cha-ching. Yeah. And Rodrigo Alves is also there, and he is the human Ken doll. If you don't know who that guy is, you've probably seen pictures of him. Uh, Stormy Daniels was an O show. Oh, All right. Yeah, so Stormy Daniels, the porn star who allegedly had something with Donald Trump, uh, she was supposed to be in it. She was the big name. And yeah. she, now, unless she showed since I saw any of the news about it last night, but she hadn't shown up. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I, yeah. I did, so, as I said, saw that first 15 minutes, and that was yeah. it. But that's amazing. Uh, see, there could be all sorts of gag orders in her as well. Uh, yeah, just in yeah. case, like, you know, she could have been paid not D to go. Trump. Um, yeah, so um, I don't know what I actually continue watching it, but I did watch that bit last night. The papers this morning, the examiner leads with uh, obviously picture of uh, pictures of Aretha Franklin and all the papers this morning. Farewell to the Queen of Soul. Warning as rents hit their highest level ever is also in the examiner there this morning. And last order is a truck as truck serves up free beer for motorists. This is on the motorway between uh, Cork and Waterford yesterday. Uh, there was an accident and there was beer everywhere oh. uh, all over the road yesterday. You'd hardly lick it off the road though, would you? You'd uh, be fairly desperate. Well, I'd hope not. People were sitting in traffic anyway. <laughs> or, or, yeah. Huh? 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 <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think there was bottles and cans everywhere. Um, the Times Iron Edition again, picture of Aretha this morning with the coolest hair ever. Yeah, uh, wow, that's big that hair. Up. That's a classic picture of Aretha. 
Um, pressure mounts on Howland to stand down. More Labour councillors back the calls for a new leader. Irish Daily Mail then parents hit with 15 grand college bill. Parents uh, uh, face paying as much as 15,000 euro for every child they send to college this year. A shocking new f- um, survey and figures have revealed. Uh, that also says that. Will Arlene say yes to the Pope as well? Arlene Foster, I think, has been invited to come and meet the Pope. Uh, the Sun says it's not a forever home. The grateful homeless mum of seven has been given a three bedroom flat in Dublin, but tells the Irish Sun exclusively it's not their home forever also stuff about the RT new season on the front page of the sun there as well this morning uh, I didn't know a whole lot about Aretha Franklin really I realised until yesterday and I started to read about her yeah. uh, two children by the time she was 15 oh I didn't know that she got pregnant at 12 had her first child at 13 my wow. god what a start in life she had someone commented where uh, you know a baby at 13 where did she get time to become a legend like oh, that's, she, that's phenomenal tough life some amazing um, tributes to her like by some other legends like Stevie Wonder wrote a lovely tribute yeah. uh, or, or gave a lovely tribute yesterday I was reading some of the, the quotes from people last night amazing stuff yeah. and actually I'll be honest with you it's only now you say that I also don't know a whole pile about her yeah. I mean I, yeah. I know the, the majority of her biggest songs but that's yeah. about it like, I mean, and like we and it's like all these big artists you know we'd be inclined to play kind of five of her songs probably but that's yeah. they're the songs people know they're the songs people want to hear but she had so many amazing wonderful songs I think she won 18 Grammys 18 yeah that's, it's that's phenomenal yeah. yeah it really is yeah that's sad uh, so yeah we'll definitely be playing Aretha Franklin on the programme today uh, I was surprised to see and I don't know if you put this in for my sake or what you've given me something to do at home that will burn calories <laughs> Well, I just spotted it. I didn't actually think of you, but now that you're saying it to me. Yeah, no, because I, I, I never do this thing at home. I never do I, this. Um, I do it probably about once a month. Only once a month? Yeah, I know. Are you supposed to do it more? And when, well, I say, when I say do it once a month, it also just in, in, involves me using polish as well. That's about it, like. Well, you've given it away. Have I? Yeah. We haven't asked the question yet. Yeah, but... Polishing my car. What? Yeah. Okay, this thing burns 170 calories per hour. You wouldn't think it, but it does. Uh, if you know the answer, leave a comment Something here. Something you can do at home in private. Or in yeah. front of people, either way. Yeah, you can actually do it in private. Um, 12,500 to 1 are the odds of uh, an average golfer to score a hole in one, right? Saw this story. Amazing. So and how about 12,500? 12 12,500 to 1. Before you tell me, okay. do you know in Japan, golfers all have hole-in-one insurance? No, what does that mean? Because, you know, if you you know if you get a hole-in-one, traditionally you buy a round for the clubhouse. Okay, I didn't know that, but okay. <laughs> yeah, so if, you get, if you're playing golf out in Belly Bunyan today and you get a hole-in-one, the tradition is that you go into the clubhouse and you, you, you the person who scored, who scored. The hole, okay. you buy the round. So, like, no one does it really. Like, you're all, hey, I'll buy my friends a round. But in Japan, like, their culture, they're so, um, what would you say? Like, they absolutely stick to their principles. Okay. And if that's the rule, that's the rule. So golfers in Japan all have hole-in-one insurance because if they get a hole-in-one, then the insurance covers them buying a round of drinks for whoever's That's the actually house. amazing. Yeah, I yeah. didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know that that was yeah. even a thing you to buy people yeah, around. because they're so principled. Jesus Christ. Yeah, way. yeah. Hope I, hopefully I'll never get a hole-in-one. In Japan. Otherwise, you're fine. Um, well, and two and a half thousand to one are the odds of a professional golfer getting mm. a, a hole-in-one. Well, this story, a golfer had a major stroke of luck when she scored, she, brilliant, scored three... Hole in ones in five hours. Uh, Ali Gibb pulled Amazing. off the rare feat uh, when she played 36 holes for a charity golf tournament. She won the tournament, obviously enough. Okay. And uh, she hit five, uh, sorry, hit three holes in one, hole in ones in uh, five hours, That's which amazing. is uh, phenomenal. Amazing. Did you ever get one? Uh, never, never got I one. I got really close, close to getting one in Betty yeah. Bunyan. Yeah, it just trickled past. I was like, no, because I was really looking forward to buying everybody a drink. I was very close in, in uh, Beaufort Golf Club once. Uh, yeah, so never was fortunate enough to actually sink it. Anyway, we got to go. We're live on air in about 30 seconds. We've got to do this. Uh, you can comment here. Don't forget, oh, we were supposed to show the lunchboxes today. Yeah, do you know, we'll, we'll do another we'll do Facebook later. Live in, yeah. in a while. We'll show you what they look like. Uh, we'll show you the lunchboxes that have our faces as superhero characters, kind of. Yeah. Um, so, and we'll tell you how you can win them a little bit later on. So, we hope you have a great Friday, a great weekend as well. Comment here or 083 300 3300. Good luck.